powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader. Good evening and thank you for joining us here on Q2. I'm Zoe Zandora. We start tonight with a head on crash causing a girl to get life flighted to safety. Shortly after 3 p.m. this afternoon, a girl heading towards Park City overcorrected when she was on the turn to Old Highway 10. It is there that she head on collided with a grain semi heading towards Laurel. The girl had to be life flighted to St. Vincent's Hospital and according to an officer, the girl is in stable condition at this time. The Billings Fire Department was out at 24th and Central today collecting donations for the Muscular Dystrophy Association to help kids and adults with muscular dystrophy, ALS, and other muscle dehabilitating diseases. When the event kicked off in the Billings Heights, where they had collected over $20,000 in donations, they're hoping to today beat that record by collecting $40,000, which will go towards groundbreaking research, life-enhancing programs, and care centers. The proceeds will also help send 30 local kids to the best week of the year event at the MDA summer camp located at the Quaker Hill Camp in McCall, Idaho, at no expenses to their family. A, a tour of homes with the latest and greatest designs, the Home Builders Association of Billings 2018 Parade of Homes was held today. The parade will continue into tomorrow and all of next weekend. It's a chance for the public to give themselves a self-guided tour of homes with the latest trends, designs, technology, and changes in state and local code regulations in hopes and a chance to find what they're looking for the next time they knock down their door for their next home project. More than 1,500 volunteers helped the Salvation Army this year, and today they received some recognition. The Salvation Army thanked those volunteers at its Appreciation Day at North Park. Billings Mayor Bill Cole, Congressman Greg Gianforte, and a representative from Senator John Tester's office also attended the event. The volunteers work about 3,000 hours, estimated by the Salvation Army to be worth more than $120,000. Biblically, it says that we're supposed to go out and help other people, you know, we're supposed to help the poor. So that, you know, we do that. Um, we've been doing it for 151 years, not in buildings, but, you know, as a Salvation Army. And we're motivated by love for people and the, uh, and the love of Christ to help people. And that's almost contagious. That's why we have so many volunteers, because people love helping people because it makes you feel good. In other heartwarming news, a five-year-old boy with cancer will go to Disney World with his family, thanks to the Montana Hope Project. Alex Pickering, who turned six in November, has Hodgkin's lymphoma. The Pickering family is the 472nd family for the Montana Hope Project and 10th this year. The project granted the wish at the Raw Raw Pizza Car Show. That means a, that means a lot to the family. It's just helping us to like, you know, we're lucky to, to have people that help us and supporting us. It's like important to us. For the kids and everything, it is such a big deal to be able to do something to kind of, I don't know, make this also a really, uh, a really big memory in a happy, positive way. My families that pulled in here, the first thing the kids do is run over and give me a hug. And you can't buy that. You know, it, it's one of those things that it's just there. And that's why I consider them all part of my family and vice versa, which is really good. And calling all food truck fans to Billings today, the fourth annual Oxfest Food Truck Roundup. Today, foodies and crafters of Billings joined in to support local food vendors, artists, musicians, and businesses with 20 of the finest local food trucks around. Participants are able to vote for their favorite food truck, and defending reigning Fat Taco returned to defend the people's favorite title. And Jim Markle, the CEO of Red Ox Manufacturing, says it's about creating a community and bridging old industry to new to the Billings Industrial Revitalization District. Yeah, we're here to, basically the, the idea came about to build community in the neighborhood down here, the Billings Industrial Revitalization District. This neighborhood is in transition from old industry to new industry. Red Ox, I would say, represents the new light industry. You can drive past this neighborhood every day if you, if you go up to the heights and all that. So uh, we want to create a, you know, a community that, that, that works in this neighborhood and make this a viable neighborhood again and remove that urban blight. 
Another piece of music. We were at Luke Bryan last night. We got a little taste of his tunes. Let's take a look. Let me some Luke.